In this video, I'm going to talk about multiple linear regression models. And in particular, I'm going to talk about the interpretation of uh, these data parameters. And uh, in the previous video, I introduced you to this uh, model where we have two explanatory variables, x1 and uh, x2. We want to know what is the impact of x1 on y. And we may also be interested in knowing what is the impact of x2 on y. And as in the case of a simple linear regression model, these beta coefficients, beta 1 will show the impact of x1 on y and similarly beta 2 will show the impact of x2 on y. The question that we want to answer is how y changes when say x1 changes or x2 changes. And we can answer this question and but we have to be a little bit careful about the interpretation of uh, these beta coefficients. So as usual, this beta zero, it will represent the intercept. That is the value of y when x1 and x2 are equal to zero. It is the same as we saw in the simple linear model. Okay, now the, the interpretation of uh, beta one and beta two are a little bit trickier here. So beta one, it shows the change in y with respect to x1 holding x2 constant, right? So looking at this formula, we can write it down as this is the change in y caused by change in x1 that is equal to beta 1. We have to assume that x2 is not changing. It is constant. That is what this holding x2 means. Similarly, what is the impact of a change in x2 on y? It is beta 2 holding x1 constant. That is, we assume that x1 is not changing. That is the interpretation of these beta coefficient beta 1 and uh, beta 2. One crucial assumption that we made in the case of a simple linear regression model was the exogeneity of these x1 and x2 variables. The one assumption that we made even for the simple linear regression model was that this u and x1 are uncorrelated. We're going to make the same assumption that the expected value of u given x1 and x2 is zero. So this assumption is also called zero conditional mean assumption. An example would be if we want to explain wage in terms of education and experience, then we are assuming that the expected value of u given education and experience is zero which means all other factors besides education and experience those are captured by u this term u and those factors are uncorrelated with education and experience this assumption plays a major role as we saw earlier that if this assumption is not met then these coefficients are biased for example, we may think about a factor called ability. What we are assuming here is wage. It's a function of education and experience. But we also know that wage is also determined by ability of people, ability of individuals. What we are assuming here is that ability is uncorrelated with education and experience. So is it a good assumption? Probably not. Why? Because ability is correlated with ed both education and experience. So we can say that more able people, they tend to get more education and tend to work harder and they are more experienced, which means this assumption is not met. So if this assumption is not met, then our beta hat parameters, beta i, beta 1 or beta 2, those are not equal to the actual beta. So we'll get biased parameters. And this is what we don't want. Remember, we want to measure the actual effect of, uh, say, education on wages. But this uh, effect will not be true in the sense that it will be biased. So we'll keep talking about uh, this problem in this class. But essentially, the idea here is we can extend the simple linear regression model to include other variables in the model. And here I extended the model to include another variable besides uh, x1. So we saw the case of two variables. In the next video, I'm going to extend this model to include as many variables on the right hand side as you want. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.